right, so you just picked up your new Logitech webcam, or maybe you have an existing web camera from Logitech that is not showing the best picture as possible. You got it, you hooked it up, you thought it was gonna be amazing. All of the specs that you read online said that this thing looks great, but you're just not achieving that quality. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve the quality of your webcam doing a few quick steps and installing some software that's gonna help you out if you're using OBS Studio and you go ahead and make your settings in OBS, but every time you restart OBS or your computer, all of your settings are gone for your webcam. We're gonna go ahead and fix that in this video. We're gonna go ahead and correct the exposure, the white balance, the flickering, the autofocus, everything's going to be addressed in this video. Stay tuned. All right, so if you got your webcam plugged into your PC and you open up OBS Studio, the first thing that you're going to need to do is go ahead and add your webcam as a source if you haven't done that yet. So to do that, what you're going to do is go ahead to OBS Studio and get that opened up. All right, so now that you got OBS open, what you want to do is add your webcam as a source if you haven't done so already. So go over to Sources and click on the plus button, and then you're going to look for Video Capture Device. Then you're going to go ahead and add your video capture device, which is going to be your webcam, and then that's going to add your webcam in OBS. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to right click and click on properties. Once you click on properties, then you can see here that your device here is set. I have the Logitech Brio hooked up. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to look for the resolution. So go ahead and change this to custom. And then you're going to change that resolution all the way up to 1920 by 1080. So that way you get a good HD webcam experience. You can also put it on 1280 by 720, uh, but this is not going to be as good as quality as the 1920 by 1080. So go ahead, put it on 1920 by 1080. And next thing you're going to adjust is the frames per second. Go ahead and put that all the way up to highest frames per second. And then you're going to make sure your video format is set to MJPEG here. And then you're going to go ahead and look for the color range. And make sure you got this selected to full so that way your webcam is picking up as many colors as possible. This is very important. Now, the next thing you're going to do uh, is go ahead and make sure your buffering is on auto detect. Everything else we can leave alone. Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on OK, and then that's going to save those settings. Now, next, you're going to go back to your webcam and click on properties. Once you get there, then you're going to look for configure video. And this is where most people configure their video in OBS Studio. And the problem with doing it like this is once you close down OBS Studio or you restart your computer, all of the settings that you've made to your webcam through here are gone. So you're going to have to go back in here and readjust everything, readjust your zoom, readjust your white balance, your contrast, your saturation. All of this has to be done all over again. But luckily for Logitech users, there is a fix for this and it's really quick and it's free. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on cancel. And before I go over to that software, I'm going to let you know that this software is a webcam software. So while I'm in OBS recording, the preview of my video will not show in there but you can see the changes happening directly in OBS as you manipulate the software. So the name of this software is Logitech Capture. So go ahead and download that software and get it installed. And that's going to recognize your Logitech webcam. All right, now that you have the software open, as you can see right here where it says camera not available, if you were not in OBS, your camera would be showing up right here. But you can also see these changes happening directly in OBS as you make the change inside of this software instantly. For me, I have more than one monitor, so I can look over here at this screen and see what's happening with my webcam as I make the adjustments on here. Um, if you want to do it and you only have one screen, you could simply make your screen smaller, put OBS on this side, put Logic Tech software on this side, and then make your adjustments that way. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this screen. 
I'm going to bring OBS back in. All right. And there we go. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the priority right here is set to frame rate and not exposure. I tried it on both. I think the frame rate works a lot best. You're not dropping any frames while you are recording your video. The next thing you want to change is the field of view. So if you put it on 90, then that's going to capture more of the room behind you. Now, if you're looking to do close ups, then you can go ahead and set that to 65. And as you see, my webcam, my video got a lot closer. You can put it on 78 to kind of give you somewhere in the middle. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on 90. Now you have your HDR setting right here. I have mine checked off. It really does not make a big difference unless you have HDR enabled on your monitor. I don't have it enabled on this monitor. I don't think I need it on here because when I'm doing some gameplay, um, it kind of messes with the game. So I leave that turned off. And if you want to adjust the zoom or the camera angle, you can do that right here. And then you can mess with the zoom as well if you want the subject to get closer or not. All right. So I'll go ahead and leave mine right there. And then you have your autofocus. Now, if you have a webcam and you're creating content with that webcam, you've probably seen the autofocus come into play. The autofocus can sometimes be good, sometimes be bad. For me, I like to leave the autofocus off because Sometimes with the autofocus on, the camera struggles to focus and then that can really mess up your video. So go ahead and leave your autofocus off. And then what you want to do is turn on your auto white balance so that way you can get the best color range as possible. I've tried this with it on, with it off. I think with it on, it works a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that turned on. You can also adjust the image settings here, like the brightness, the contrast, and the color range. Everything can be adjusted right here. You can make some um, small detail changes to it if you want to just go ahead and play with it and get it looking the best as possible for your room and your webcam, depending on what type of lighting you have set up. Next, we have the anti flicker, and then I'm going to leave that turned on and I'm going to leave it at 60 hertz. They also have some chroma key settings here and some advanced settings if you just want to flip the video vertical or horizontal. But the good thing about this is once you make these settings, uh, in the software is going to reflect in your OBS. So that way you don't have to keep making these settings every single time you open up OBS. If you open up OBS and you see that the settings are not correct, just simply close it back down, open up the Logitech software, and then that's going to set your camera settings. And then you can go ahead and just close it down, open your OBS back up and everything will be set just the way you left it in the Logitech capture software. And one thing that I do want to stress is it doesn't matter how good your webcam is. You're going to need some lighting. Lighting is key when you are doing anything with video or photo. You need to make sure that you, the subject, are very well lit. It doesn't really matter what's behind you if that's lit very well, but you want to make sure that yourself is lit very well. For my setup, I have a small light in the front. I have another light here. I have another light here. I have a smaller light here and a smaller light here, and that's just lighting me up really nice. Uh, I might change out the lighting in here, but for right now, it works. So what I'm going to do for you guys is this exact same lighting setup that I have inside of this room. I'm going to make sure I leave some links in the description of the video so that way you can get some good lights that is not going to break your wallet. Now, there are lighting systems that go all the way up to 500 bucks. This is nowhere near close to that, but I've had these for a long time. They're super bright. They're adjustable um, and they're very easy to use. I will probably make another video strictly on the lights that I have in here. So that way you guys can see exactly what I've been using. I probably had these for like three years already and have no issues with them whatsoever. I got them right off of Amazon. So hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully your video is looking amazing now. If you want to see more content like this, make sure that you smash that subscribe button, like it and share it. If you're going to create content, create it like a smith.